This is an infrared receiver, and to be more specific, the VS1838 module. It has three pins, ground, VCC and signal out. If I supply this module to 5 volts, add a pull up to the output and connect it to my oscilloscope, now I could analyze the infrared signals from all kind of IR remotes. But I don't know anything about the modulation of these signals, the frequency, the codes that it sends, how the signal is encoded and so on. That's why in this video I will make my own infrared remote and receiver. The remote will have 6 buttons and it will send a different 8-bit data for each pressed button. The receiver will use a phototransistor to detect the signal, amplify it and read it with another Arduino. With these two modules you could control LEDs or use it in any other project that you want, the choice is yours. Just a quick announcement for those who don't know, my Spanish channel link is below, así que si hablas español échale un vistazo. So, in this video we will build the remote and receiver, make our own connection, implement the code and control stuff with it. So let's get started. This project is brought to you by JLC PCB, which is a manufacturer of quick PCB prototypes for more than 10 years and is the site that I use for all of my PCBs. Once designed, upload your Gerbil files on the GLC PCB site. Get a full review of the PCB, select your desired settings and order the PCB for amazing prices. I've ordered 10 of my prototype PCBs for only $2 and received those in 6 days. Crazy right? So order your quality PCB and make your projects look a lot more professional. What's up my friends, welcome back. I know you have already seen a lot of videos where you could hack and read the data from this kind of infrared remotes. Before I start creating my own remote, let's analyze a bit how this commercial one works. We have an infrared LED emitter here, and as for the receiver I will use the VS1838. You have to connect the receiver like this, with a pull-up resistor of more than 10k and a resistor of 100 ohms to VCC to limit the current. I mount the circuit on my breadboard and connect the output to my oscilloscope. I put the oscilloscope into single mode and press one of the buttons of the infrared remote. As you can see, the signal is modulated. It has a certain frequency and I don't even know where to start with. That's why I thought I should try to make my own. I know it might not be as good as the commercial one, but at least with this we'll learn something on the way. Before making my own, I will show you a quick example using this setup and the library for the Arduino that decodes the signal, but you could find more details below. So this is the schematic where the IR receiver is connected on pin D3. I make the connections to 5 volts, ground and the signal to the Arduino. Download the code from below and upload it to the Arduino. Now, as you can see, I can turn on and off the LED of my Arduino using the on and off buttons of the remote. Instead of LEDs, you could control anything that you want with this setup. You have a step-by-step -step tutorial about this below. Also, if you open serial monitor, you could see each of the send code and write those down for each button and use those for future projects. Now, let's build our own setup. For this, we will need two Arduino Nano one for the receiver and another one for the transmitter. We will need some push buttons and a drilled PCB for prototyping. And last but not least an infrared LED and a phototransistor. I'm not using the VS1838 because the output of that is modulated and I don't want that for this project. You could buy the LED and phototransistor separately or just use an infrared module like this one. This module is not made for receiving data due to the phototransistor shape, but it will be good enough for this tutorial. It has an op amp already in place, so the signal is already amplified. If this won't work, I will probably make my own circuit with an external op amp. Ok, so let's start. This is the schematic for the transmitter remote. In my case, I have 6 buttons, but you could add up more up to the limit of the Arduino inputs. I've placed a pair of infrared LEDs to increase the power and a 100 ohms resistor for each to limit the current. To supply the remote for this test I could use the USB connector or a 9V battery. And the transmitter is ready. 
Now each time I press one of the buttons, a different light signal will be sent, and we receive that with the phototransistor, as we can see here on my oscilloscope. Now let's see the receiver. This is the schematic for this part. I first solder the Arduino and the phototransistor module in place, but without the infrared LED, only the phototransistor. I then connect this BJT transistor. This will be used just to invert the received signal, since the Wart RX pin has to be always high, and the falling edge will be the start bit. That's why we invert the signal from the receiver. I also solder 6 LEDs, each for each pressed button, and the receiver is ready. I can now control the LEDs with the infrared signal from the remote. As you can see with each push button I can turn on and off one LED. That's it, the circuit is more than simple, now let's see the code. We could make our own communication or just use the wart port of the Arduino. Very important, the baud rate of the communication has to be the lowest value, 300 in this case, since the maximum frequency of this infrared sensor is very low, so that's a disadvantage of this project. I've tested the sensor with a square wave generator and at around 450Hz the signal was lost, or started to wumble around. So guys, in the code we read the input of each button, and if one is pressed we send a different 8-bit code for each using the serial dot write. Change the codes here if you want. Next on the receiver code we read the input data with the serial dot read, and if one of the received bytes is one of the codes, we invert the state of the LED's output, and by that turning those on and off. And that's it. I upload the codes to both Arduinos and give it a test. Point the transmitter and receiver one to each other, and press the buttons. And there you have it, I can control each LEDs with my own remote. Instead of LEDs, you could use this remote for any other project like starting on and off a relay, control motors and so on. Now on the oscilloscope I have both the send data and the receive data. As you can see it's the same and it is a wart communication signal of 8 bits. We have the start bit, 8 bits of data that creates a byte, and the stop bit. The rest of the time the communication pin is high. Ok guys, the range of this remote is not that high. I was able to send data up to over a meter and direct face to face of the receiver and transmitter. That's due to the phototransistor, which is not made for this function as the VS1838. The shape of this phototransistor gives a directional radiation. The transmitter is not the problem, since I've tested this setup with other remotes, and the range was the same. The VS1838 is specially designed for receiving low infrared light. The best range that I achieved was using this phototransistor, from this kind of an optic switch. Links for all the parts used in this project are below. Well guys, that's it for today. If you like this kind of project, consider helping me on Patreon. Tell me more in the description if you would like to see more on the VS1838 receiver and commercial IR remotes, but as always you have the webpage tutorial links below on electronus.com if you want to see more. Also the codes, libraries and schematics that I use are also shared in the description. I hope that you enjoyed this video, if so don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. And remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.